Well done. Hoo-wee. We're at the finale. The final resting place. Season number two. This is episode number 32 of Brews and Bros. The finale where we try our top beers. Yes. One, two, three. We look back at uh, some... Some of the talking points from the season. So nostalgia, obviously. Yes, of course. And uh, you're going to notice I got fired up today just driving home, Don. And, and now you have the three top. You're on yeah. notice. And, and they, they all about. fire me up. They yeah. all fire me Well, I'm glad it's up. the first talking points and then we yeah. get to the beer. So. Yeah. And I got a surprise for the Don, too. I might have one what? trivia question. <laughs> one trivia. Okay. All right. He's been asking for something. So okay. All right. I, I figured I'm going to give him one trivia question. I like it. This. I like it a to, lot. Uh, just yeah, to do yeah, it. Yeah. 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 Um, okay. So on Bruce and Bros, we're going to try the three beers. Usually, you know, we have our, our holy grail that we're looking for, right? Correct. Something that is flavorful, something that has some aroma to it. And uh, what's that third thing that we want? Oh, they got to definitely be crushable. So I want to say all three of these beers met that criteria. Absolutely. That's why they're here. We're going to crown a here. champion tonight. And I'm so excited to try these three again because the I, I can't remember... Uh, a couple of them with the, the first this one here it's we had most recently it's been a while but it's been a while uh the last one i can't wait you ready then? <laughs> yes sir let's go first on the docket okay we've got the in pieces india pale ale by counterpart brewing it's a 6.5 percent my buddy peter he came through large he came through <laughs> we we, we oh. knew our beers that we wanted to do on this uh podcast for the finale yes and uh we decided that we uh you know, we we, can't, we thought of them ahead of time. Couldn't find the in pieces anywhere. I was scrambling uh, I, out of stock. Out of I stock? Couldn't, I couldn't believe it. I was willing to drive wherever in sure. Ontario, try to get it, and nothing. Couldn't and I was it. searching too. Unfortunately, uh, I couldn't find any other places where you could get it other than Counterpart. Unbelievable. So I don't know. Unbelievably, Peter. My Peter, brother, Peter. Said, I got two in the fridge. <laughs> no so way. Come by and get them. Right. And, uh, when you sent me that pic, I'm like, oh my <laughs> God, thank God. <laughs> so I, let's not wait any longer. Right? Shout out, Pete. Let's do it. Let's go. So just uh, while we're pouring this in, and, and just a reminder for uh, the people that um, maybe didn't watch season one, let's be honest. Dom, sure. Right? Yes. Let's, well, <laughs> let's were, be honest it with us. It wasn't amazing <laughs> first time around. So well, we were rookies in the we game, but now we're professionals. So let's go. Season finale, though. We're going to not give you our typical rating. <clears throat> I'm not even going to really describe it. Uh, you know, in depth. I just want to try it again. Yes. What's going to happen is at the end, you're going to have to stay tuned, okay? You're going to have to watch the whole thing this time. I've got people out there, okay? <laughs> I know they're a little bit long, these episodes, but please watch the whole thing because what's going to happen... That's just an excuse. They're only 30 yeah, minutes. Uh, come on. Come you don't on, have 30 know, minutes. 30 come minutes. on. So you watch. stick around for that. At the end, we're going to tell you our gold, silver, and bronze for season yeah. two. We were thinking about having a nice little podium and that kind of stuff. We didn't. Yeah, well, well, at in all. Future, well I know. <laughs> People stack the kids. Like, oh, uh, well, okay. I was, you know, I didn't get a chance to really talk to Superfan Joe and come yes. up with a, a, yes. a, a, a design, but we will yeah. have something in the future. I think we need some sort of glass case with the, something. the champions. So yeah. Make us something. Yeah. Man, there's people out there that Someone know make make stuff. I can't make anything. Any carpenters out there? Anybody that My works with glass? Dad did not pass any kind of talent in woodworking nor, to me whatsoever. Nor mine. So yeah, right? yeah. I need some, bro. I forgot how unbelievable this. Look at the color. color I is. know. Look this is reminding me why this is in the top. <laughs> look at it. All right, the people that are watching on YouTube, take a look at this. This is beyond hazy. It's hazy, but it's glowing like a freaking angel right Oh, my God. Look at this smell. But look, and even the fl it? the fluffiness. Where's everything? Yeah, the fluffiness of this head over here, like nice and white, like yeah. ready to go. I'm thirsty. Man. Juicy. Right? Juicy. Thirsty. I'm thirsty. Let's drink it. Let's go. Cheers. Cheers. It's just such a good beer, Tom. You know, it's one of those beers that, you know, I guess if, if you see the can, you see India Pale Ale, you might be thinking just, oh, it's a 6.5. It's going to be too hot. But you know what? I'm going to give it to no. a counterpart because uh, actually Peter and I, yep. just a couple hour ago, hours ago before <laughs> the uh, the podcast, had a couple double IPAs. Okay. Okay. So yep. counterpart makes their double IPAs specifically. Right, they do that. They know the hop heads out there. Yep. They know. Let's give them some hops. Yep. This is not a double IPA. No. Nope. This is blended fantastic. The fruitiness, the juiciness. It is so <clears throat> thirst quenching. It is. There's so I, much. There's so much complexity to this, yeah. but at the same time, it's 
like you said, it's smooth. It's refreshing. It's smooth. It doesn't leave that oh. that harsh taste. Sometimes that that uh, uh, IPA is kind of you know yeah. leave in the back of my my throat. But it, this is great. Don, it makes me happy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you know, it, it makes me happy. Yeah, I didn't. We didn't see the beers that are going to be on the show. I, oh, we probably should. Thinking, I mean, it's no, no, sur no, no. It's no surprise though, right? Well, because it's usually we'll say like we're doing ales. Right? Sure. I will, let's give this away. Okay. Two pale ales. Two pale ales. One pilsner. Yep, and one's an Italian pale ale. Wow, well, yes. Okay, so like, is there... We're bringing that to you first, by the way, all right? <laughs> yes. You tell me. I know there's a lot of uh, beer brothers and sisters out there reviewing all these beers. I don't know. I didn't see an Italian pale ale anywhere. Did you? Uh, no, I didn't. So, so we're so, telling you, and, and you know, that's last on the docket, I think. Hey, go, right? go grab it, because I'm grab excited it. for most for I, that one there. I want to give this, this beer justice first before... Absolutely. Again, we're not ranking it. We said, I don't know, maybe it's kind of stupid to write something on this... Uh, on the board, do you want to write something on the board? I'm okay. We're not giving it a score. No. All right. I just wanted to remind myself, and we wanted to go on air and you know show you we're trying these again, and we're going to try our best, wipe the slate clean, <clears throat> and give you our top three beers for okay. sure. And you know what? We might have surprises here. Where mm -hmm. what if one of them is not? You know, we we drank it before, but you know, there's something different about it, right? If I remember correctly, the last season in season one, season one. In the finale? In the finale. Okay. The final ranking surprised us both. All right. Oh, yes. Right? We I were both on the same page. Yes. But going into it. Well, when we had our deliberations off, yeah. off air, yes, mm -hmm. I remember there was some, not controversy, but not controversy. we did have some, uh, we, we, we swayed a, a certain way where we thought we were going to go and, and, and it happened, right? I kind of have a feeling this might be that way again. Okay. All right. <laughs> anyway, This is fantastic beer, though, yes. by the way. Counterpart so, did a fantastic job with this. Um, good call out for the first one to start absolutely. off with. Yeah. So this is the In Pieces India Pale Ale by Counterpart Brewing. It's a 6.5%. It has made the top three. Yep. Stick around. Yes. To see the final rankings at the end. Yes. And stick around because up next, this is our overall look back on all those people out there <laughs> that we put on notice. notice. Yep. All right. Stick around. Check it out. When we come back. Let's go. But we're back and wave. Bruce and bros, as you can see. Jump <laughs> and wave. A laid back episode <laughs> here, trying our favorite beers from the season. Woo! And uh, we just had our first one, which was Ian Pieces by Counterpart. Fantastic. Fantastic job, Counterpart. Can't wait for the Figo coming up in a little bit. Yeah. We're uh, sponsored by uh, Fuel Digital Designs. Yes, sir. Look at the, the splash wall all season long. You it's know fantastic. I we almost wish we were facing the splash yeah. wall. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, yeah. yeah. I get you. Happy. I get you. Yeah, right. very. The very artwork happy. is unbelievable. It's great. Um, they do uh, unbelievable designs. That's and it. you can check them out on Etsy. Check and uh, yeah. yeah. On notice? Do it. But I this mean, is a calm version of it. I mean, we've already... We, I mean, I uh, hope so. <laughs> but I'm, I am, I mean, I'm well, you fired did, up. Like I said, there was you one went, in particular that happened today. I know. But, uh, I, Don, did you have any on notice that you, you wanted to talk about? I mean, I know I got there. I, I got the, uh, the funny one. So, the toilet seat. Yeah. Right? And the funny thing was, I talked to a few people later, and they, they agreed. Yeah. Right? For toilet sure. Well, you have, to, you, you have to agree on that. Uh, for me, I think uh, mine are more like the food-related ones. Uh, the that cheese really dumping The cheese dumping all the burger. those ones where they make stuff like on the table kind of thing. Yeah. Like, so like that. Pasta. It's, yeah, she's having a, like the, 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 the most popular one is the, the lady making. She has like 20 guests coming over. Yeah. She has her granite countertop yeah. and she's storing the spaghetti and she, the meatballs I, and yeah. the sauce I know on the countertop. Too. Yeah. I hate it. I yeah. mean, it's the, first of all, it's disgusting. Then there's the other guy that's making the stuff in the motel rooms. Have you yeah. seen that guy? Uh, in, the, in the sink? Yeah, but he's got more now. Was, yeah. uh, I think he made like a steak sit. I don't know. Oh. It was this, I couldn't oh, watch it. Oh, I it was the one he made like. Uh, French onion soup. Yes. In a hotel room. In the sink. In the sink. With the, I don't know, he had all these apparatuses. He had this yeah. thing that he, I don't know. It was disgusting, man. And then, you know what really uh, what really stood out too was when uh, we were actually calling out not uh, the breweries and the and the brewmasters and okay. and adding those Dorito things to the, you know, know, because we're all we're all about I the, we got know. into the craft beer because of the naturalness I of know. it, uh, you know, all the ingredients. Yes. And then you start you start throwing these processed stuff into I, there. Well, you know, like I saw it, another one today. Oh. I sent it to you. I don't know if you got a chance to watch it. Uh, probably not. No. The Pringles. Can. Oh, I, I saw that before so, you. I did see that today. Pours the Coke yep. into the Pringles can. Yep. Flour, mashes it up. Puts the freaking whole 
Pringles. You can't. Can first of all, I don't know. How, I don't know no, how. I think it's fake. Uh, first, yeah, I don't know. first of all, I don't know how that didn't blow up. Yeah, because you can't put those know. cans and in then, the oven. Just, oh, they, they poured it after it was. No, in she the made oven, a bread. They, she made a bread. Oh, it looks like bread. I, why are you making bread with Coca-Cola? No, but then she, but then she cut it What's and she put the, she put the prosciutto yeah, and no, the salami, oh, the yeah, no. cheese on top, and Again, the dip. Like, what's our philosophy on this podcast, Don? It's enhance flavors. Yeah, she's doing enhance a- recipes. Please, Gordon Ramsay. All right, everybody out there, that chefs, we need you to come together and put a stop to this stuff because they are running wild and i don't want my daughter yeah or my son yep or my nieces yeah to start making these recipes no like, absolutely ah, this not is, look at what i made it's absolutely it's not, not good food no. it's not food it's no. not food it's not food all right that was the first one <laughs> that was number not. two <laughs> i the toilet seat killed me okay i, I was talking to my buddy john and my yeah. buddy john's like you know bruiser i check out this toilet seat he said that to me and it, it looks amazing yeah 300 bucks Oh man! I'm like, is that is that really where we're at? Like, if I really need a decent, and I don't even want, I don't even need a decent toilet seat. Yeah, I just want a functional. I'll tell you right now, functional. I changed I changed mine on in in the main one that yeah. my, my kids use. You were to, saying that on the last yeah, episode, and I yeah, found it. And I'm happy with it. I found it at work All because right. I like the system you know where what? you where you lock it in. It's okay. not it's not the plastic nuts on the All bottom right. where everything okay. breaks. This is actually. Heavy duty. Okay. The seat, the, the seat itself is a little heavy. It's not self clothing. All right. But, All right. But the the way the mechanism where you you lock it in, it turns and it clicks. It's like a lock. Yeah. So I've had nothing but good success with it. Going to the washroom, you should try it out. All right. I'll let you know about that. Was but the one downstairs, the one downstairs where I use. Oh. This. Every time I sit on it, the the cap comes off and it breaks. <laughs> and it breaks. Yes. <laughs> Was it the last episode I talked about socks? <laughs> I can't remember. All right. So I mean, it, actually, I saw a funny, last, a funny picture one. on the web that, uh, you know, Buddy's just like, can we please <laughs> stop with these plastic things in my socks? And the picture he Oh, had, that's amazing. He tried to cut them out and it wasn't working. And he had like five or six just of these like jetting out of the brand new <laughs> sock. Just like oh that. I said I was going to bring it up every episode until they fix it. Yeah. I don't want a hole in my sock before. Or I put it on. They do it and on that's purpose. It's happening. I told I think, you, it's my conspiracy. I think yeah. they're doing it on purpose. Yeah, because you know what? Okay, one one pair has a hole. You need another one. Go buy, buy another six packs, and then you're going to keep doing it. It's a rotation. I'm going to call on my Generation X for this one <laughs> because the millennials tried to crush me here. Okay. Okay, they tried to crush me. Earlier in the season, I talked about I'm going 130, 135 in a 100. We're in Canada, okay? So 100 kilometers. I'm going 135. 35 over. Okay? And you still have people right up your ass. Yeah, it's bad. Right, right behind you, okay? I saw you today, Toyota. This black <laughs> Toyota, right? I'm going 135. They're going 100 in the right lane. You really want me to move over in because you want to go, what, 145? Yeah. Where are we at? I need to know because nobody's given me any feedback about this. This is still a very big question on our mind. I think you're going to get backlash for this. Well, you, so what's your what's your what's your uh, stance well, on it? Are you staying in the league? I kind of told you on XM Radio. I think they might be t- stealing our content because right? <laughs> the banter that was going back and forth sounded a lot like ours, no, and they were talking about this. And the one guy. Well, and I won't bring up his name, was, uh, you know, oh, yeah, you know, get out of the way if I'm in the left lane. And then the other guy, you know what he says? But I'm going 100 and, you know, it, they're in the States. Right? Yeah. So they're going well over the speed limit sure. already. Why do I have to move over? I think. This and you know what he brought up was the same talking point as mine. If you want to go that much over the speed, li- speed limit, move around me. Sure. Pass me. Because I can't move into the Well, I'll tell you something lane. right now. I listen. If I'm not doing if, it. If they're stealing, I'm not doing stuff, it. Though. I think we got to call them out. <laughs> I think we that's maybe call another talkie out. boy. All right. You know, I don't know. That's, I, that's 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 you know, awesome. okay. whatever. Anyways, I think. Th- what's your stance? Are you staying in the lane? If I'm going 30, 35 yeah. over, okay. yes. All right. Because I, yes. I think you'll get backlash on people that say move out. I know. Move out of the I way. did on TikTok. Move that's what I'm saying. The millennials are move over. I, I put one of those things. It was 50-50, Don. Should I move over or should I not move over? It was 50-50. Uh, right? I need some backup on this okay. uh, Generation X. Come on. I, I need feel the some same backup. way. 
I mean, driving back and forth from Toronto in the in the summertime. You drive all the time. Uh, I I pin it like I, I can I can reach one forty, but I still get the people that are kind of riding my ass, right. and I can't. I'm that's like reasonable. I'm going one forty, uh-huh. and that's fast. I shouldn't be doing that, but like I want to get home one forty. This guy's doing a, like yeah. what are you doing one sixty? That's it coming up. Like I know. Why should I move? To your point, that's safety the wise, everybody else is doing a hundred. I'm gonna move over to a hundred. Like it's unsafe. I don't know. Just gonna say it's unsafe. It is unsafe. And fix it. We need to fix it. <laughs> Fix the socks, fix, fix the it. toilet seats, fix, fix the highway it. etiquette, fix it all. That's it. All I know is this can is screaming I need a at me. It's screaming at me. I need me. a beer. I love this. The way, this is Figo. <laughs> follow the Figo, 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 <laughs> Figo. Follow the Figo. <laughs> Listen, Henderson's did a great job. With all right. This. That's yeah. on what it is. Get the it is Figo Italian Style Pilsner by Henderson Brewing Company. It's a 5.5% brew. I love this can. It screams just freshness. They... It's it's not a teal can. It's not a. It's, it's like a sky. baby it like blue a, sky. Yeah, it looks like a sky Tur- turquoise. It's, is it turquoise? One or of those turquoise? cans of beer you could pull it off the shelf and it's going to be cold. Yeah. <laughs> it just yeah, yeah, like yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, that's so. <laughs> you know amazing. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Even though our our, our uh, what's it called? Our glasses aren't very cold right now, but yeah. uh, I I I love this. I just I, want. I, I I can't wait to try it again. This was one of our early ones, right? Yeah. We decided uh, early in the season that we wanted to, uh, you know. Try some more Pilsners because they were such a big hit on the uh, first season unexpectedly, it, but right? Honestly, though, I think with, uh, not that we're, I'm not trying to be biased here, but what do you got? Because we are Italian. Oh, we've and we had Italian, 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 Italian. Italian. No, no, I'm just saying, like, judging, but like, it's, it's an Italian Pilsner. Like, I didn't, well, even, I didn't even think that category existed. It might be, again, it might I be, said, it might be naive. I had just traveled to Italy and yeah. I had the Pilsner uh, in, in, the Pilsner's there, and yeah. They, yeah, they're okay. But you know, this one, and I, 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 I can't. I, I want. I got. Okay, I want to smell it. <laughs> so, I remember this one didn't Not, have a yeah, lot of no. aroma. I think it was. I think I remember it was more in the taste. Like it blew okay. us away in the taste, in the right? Taste. Yeah. Right. Well, cheers. Let's see. Cheers, bro. Let's go. There it is, right there. Oh yeah. Oh, I, I, I'm always, I love when I'm pleasantly surprised. Yeah. You know, you, you get something and it doesn't pass a lot of my, like, if we're talking about our Holy Grail, right? Yeah. It's not flavor, I'm sorry, it's not ar- aromatic. No. Um, it doesn't have, like, my finger, which is not an official <laughs> ranking, but, you know, it's 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 uh, translucent, which, you know, I like more of the hazy stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, so... It was all in the flavor with this one. Yeah, no, right. it, it blew us away for sure. Um, in terms ahead. of a pills. Yeah. Well, remember when Johnny coined tr- uh, the <laughs> okay, trunk cool. the, yes. with pilsners? Oh, okay. With us when we try them, it was trunk beer. Are you this maybe is, this bringing is... up that because if I remember correctly on that episode, <laughs> yeah, we had ones that were borderline trunk beers. Right? Yes, and this one stood out among. The I three. won't. I won't name the one that right. I really think is, but okay. it, it, it was definitely a trunk beer. Okay. So yeah. and this is and it was a pilsner. Now, when you factor in now, you're putting an Italian pilsner. Yeah. In, what's the difference? Yeah. Like. Yes. You know. So I'd be interested to know the the different concepts in terms of judging the pilsner. I'm gonna swing it again. Sure. But again, with this one, so this is the uh, Figo. It's and they have it in all capital letters, right? Figo. Yeah. You yeah. gotta say Figo. I wonder Figo. if that's a, an acronym. Maybe it is. Yeah. Uh, but it's how. Oh, there, yeah, it's a slang term. Okay. Figo is a slang term. I oh, think I brought it up on C. Uh, in in uh, Italian, obviously. Yeah, yeah. I can't remember. Maybe yeah. We'll, 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 we'll check in. We'll bring it when we come back on there. Um, so, Figo Italian style Pilsner by Henderson. I I want to say this, though. With this one, this I will honestly say, this is probably the best Pilsner yeah. I have had in a long time. I couldn't agree I, with you more. Yeah. Like, a few Pilsners we've had in the past were crushable. Sure. Kind of fell flat. a little bit on flavor. A yeah. little bit on, you know, with the other aspects. The aromas are not there. You get yeah. your, you know, when you're, t- when, you're, when you're judging a Pilsner, it has that that same kind of smell it's, all the time. It's yeah. really... Yeah. It, 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 it's, <laughs> I, I always go back to well, John. Like, I always go back to John's coin. Like, it, it just sounds, smells like a, you're in a hockey rink. Yes. You're like, yeah. 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 Johnny it, with the trunk beer. This one was... Is Far from it, okay? So, I just yes. just a refresher, a reminder, okay? This is a damn good Pilsner, all right? It has flavor. Uh, it's definitely crushable. Uh, you'll enjoy it. I, I want to drink 
That's right. I want to eat just slice after slice after slice of pizza yeah, while I'm drinking this. And this this really cold is so refreshing. It's smooth. I can it's just a great beer, picture man. Picture the Don splashing me in the face, <laughs> in the face, in the in the pool. While I'm drinking this, just you know, frolicking around with the beer in his hand. Well, while I'm making, his I'm in making his hand. the pizza, so poolside pies, and making the pies, pizzas, just drinking this. So yeah. what a good beer. <laughs> yeah, fantastic. Again, we're not going to give you a ranking right now, no. but I will. Uh, I will with all of my heart and soul tell you this deserves to be in our top three for sure. If you have like us strayed from pilsners over the last uh, little while right because you know you know me i see you know, my eyes will get really wide when i see a juicy ipa <laughs> yes of course yeah you love, yeah you love it you love it you love it and i i was that i fell under that category and don's like you know i think it was maybe you that was like let's give the uh, sure what, what's available yeah these pilsners have become I widely agree. available i agree with you like right? how many i mean you get, we can only we, we try so many pilsners right yeah. at one point are they all going to taste you know the ones that are, if it's not Italian style, but I'm just saying, <laughs> yeah, like, you know, you know, you know what I'm trying to get at? Like, yeah. a Pilsner is a Pilsner is a Pilsner. Right? I don't like, want it. I and mean, that's what I did. I put them all in the category of a trunk beer yeah. and I shouldn't have. And Henderson's proved me wrong. So, again, this is number two. This is uh, in our finale. Yeah. Uh, the Figo Italian style Pilsner by Henderson. Um, when beer. we come back, is this, this is like, uh, this is tough. We're this gonna, is good. Yeah, it's tough, but. You know, you're gonna have to wait. You're gonna have to see where we rank this. Uh, I, I I wonder if we're on the same page. I don't know. I okay, so I don't. I don't know. I, I, yeah. I haven't really even thought about deliberations right now. Not I, yet. I, I, no. What I, do you I, mean? Well, no. I've, I've been thinking this about. This is it. it. No. I, you know how hard it was to get these beers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking of basically no, 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 hoarding sorry. these last few years. <laughs> but this is it. You better start No, sorry. I, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. I mean, I meant. I meant like I've been thinking about it, but okay. not like in depth. Right okay. now, like, oh my god, like the last one's coming. Maybe we'll take I have to have extra long breaks. So you oh. Can start thinking about these, I guess. I got the tingle coming. We come back to after. <laughs> happening yeah shot after after the dog follow the beagle 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 follow the beagle ta -ta. um nostalgia i i have uh, which is huge on this a new podcast, entry yes. to my top tv dad okay on the list are you allowed to do this what okay all right <laughs> oh, yeah. actually i, I didn't I should have maybe cleared it with you before. No, it's okay. You know. You're the creative director on this, so I give <laughs> I you all an amenity that. that. Yeah. Find out who I'm adding to my top team all right. dad list. Let's go. Cheers, back. Anderson. We, we love you, back. Anderson Spiegel. <laughs> We're back. This is Brews and Bros, and we are sponsored by the Niagara Craft Brewery Tours. We got a promo code for you. We sure do. Brews and Bros, B R E W S N B R O S. Pop that in. Twenty percent off any of their tours. Enjoy. I want to talk some nostalgia, Don. We had some great something I talking really, points yeah, on this. Something I, I I love about this and doing this with you is that we can go back to the eighties and nineties, more so the nineties, and uh, we can relive our youth. I know our, our longest episode ever went <laughs> on and on and on about all my shoes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I had my and I was pleasant. Smiths. I was. I had my my British Knights, and I had all. But your uh, BKs, BKs, British Knights. BKs. Yes, BKs. Oh, they're one of my favorite uh, shoes of all time. Yeah, you presently surprised me. Like uh, I think you I, had probably more I, shoes than I, I did, I, and I don't have an extensive kinda, shoe collection but i guess i i, I don't know uh, it didn't didn't last long I, it, for some i don't know if i was just rough on my shoes or whatever yeah. but well i never I seemed to be able to wear them from year to year i wore them once here and then done here's the problem okay like, us as kids growing up oh, we were outside we, all the we time okay we forget it i'm not even going to talk about the kids today because they don't go outside my mother had to call me inside. <laughs> That's true. Come in. It's nine o'clock. Come yes, inside. Yes. They had to call me. You're, Those kids, these, the kids today, my kids, they do not do that. I, I mean, I, you know what I'm curious about? Yes. Like maybe, is the sh did the shoe company industry like, <laughs> has just, have their sales gone down with the younger generation? I don't think so. I really well, don't well, think, they think so. I think they're, they're, they're a sedative culture a right. sedative society. Yeah. We're out. You know, we need it. I, I I don't know. Some running shoes didn't last a couple months. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe that's a thing. Maybe it is. Yeah, know. yeah. I'm, I'm just, going. I'm going off the top of my head because I see my kids. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's all this. I get it. I technology. Get it. They want to play all this stuff. Uh, so done. Yeah. We were pretty on par with uh, who we thought the TV moms 
All right, Angela yep. Bauer. Yes. And uh, you thought, uh, who was the other one that was up on our list for the uh, <laughs> Angela <laughs> Bauer? No, you wanted uh, Joanna Kern, Joanna right? Joanna Kearns. Yeah. Right? Um, um, Maggie, Maggie Siever. Siever. Maggie Siever. We yeah. Were Judith a, Light. A 1A, 1B with that, and the one, or did I convince you? No, 1A, 1B was uh, the TV Dads. Okay, which okay, was, which we, was Tony, the Sally for you. Sally for me. Sally. <laughs> And I had that uh, Dr. Had Jason Siever. Siever also. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, I, but there's some controversy here because you want to okay. add someone to this list. And, and you were saying. Our, our notable honorable mention? Or, or yeah, is this, are you at? No. no? Okay. On the, well, on the list. Especially if we're going with that list, we have movieweb.com. And their, their dad list was a little bit better than the mom. That mom, no garbage. That mom. Yeah, was I don't know, man. I, I mean, is that a reputable I don't site think, that you well, got? It no, off okay. Of? I mean, I don't right. know, man. The Don's putting me on notice. I didn't, I didn't spend a lot of time you know searching. But you know what? It came up in one of the you know two what? top Google searches. Well, shame shame top on movie moms. Top, shame on top, me. Sorry, TV moms, top TV dads. Shame on me. I didn't I didn't do enough research on this. I could have helped you out with that. But you got it off movie uh, web yeah. and MD, whatever it's yes. called. <laughs> MD. <laughs> <laughs> Movieweb.com. Yeah. All right. I want to add one, Don. Okay. And I, I don't even know if you watch the show, so I'm going to... I'm gonna, I'm reading your notes over here. Yeah, you can probably see it. I'm going to blur into... Hang on of, a second. I got to cut you off. Your sister right. loves this show. Okay. I did not... I was not a fan of All it. Right. And, I'm, I'm and a massive just, fan of the show. Yeah, okay. But I wanted to say... So, first of all, the show is Shit's Creek. Yep. And Eugene Levo, Levy, who played Johnny Rose on Shit's Creek. Okay? Yeah. So... Don, I want to say this though. Sure. One of my favorite movie comedies of all time. Yeah. And that might be a talking point in the future. Sure. Is American Pie. I was just going to say that. I like Eugene Levy. Actually, I, I really respect him. And in that movie, fa fantastic. Right? Yeah. Think about him as a dad yeah. in that movie. Yes. I mean, basically, <laughs> his, his son is a disaster. Yeah. He's, he's exploring his sexuality in yeah. ways like, you know, yeah. just, he's doing something to a pie in the first one. <laughs> In the second, in this American Pie 2, he glues himself to himself. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and the dad's just calm, bails him out. Yeah. Right? Just, just yeah. you know, that's okay. You know, shout out, all to, girl shout out to the Canadian UG yes. Levy. Like, come on. Matt, genius. Yes. He's a freaking genius. So yeah. it transcends. Yeah. I, you know, I did say a shit's creek because we were talking uh, TV dad. Sure. But. It's Eugene Levy and yeah. dad in general. Did you do you recall this the TV show CCTV with John Candy, all oh, the Canadians? Oh, this is old school. I don't know if you really recall okay, it. Yes, Search it. I, I they were all okay. I believe they were all on it and it yeah. was a comedy thing. And he, sort, and he, yeah, almost like a Saturday Night Live, but Canadian yes. version of it, yes. right? And I would watch that once in a while. And yeah. they were all on it. Like fantastic he, job. He's a master comedian. Yes. He, man, we produce a lot of good comedians. Yeah. Right? Yeah, Mike Jim Myers Carey. was huge, right? Jim Mike Carey. Myers. We Jim crush Carey. it. Jim we Carey. crush it. When it comes to, you know, funny <laughs> men, right? Funny actors, we got it yeah, all. Okay? Absolutely. We got the LeBron James and the Michael Jordan <laughs> of comedians when it comes to uh, comedy. In Canada. We yeah, in Canada. Absolutely. Know. And Michael Jake Foxy's, even though he's not a comedian. Yeah. I'll put him in there too. Right? I love him too. Right? Yeah, yeah. He's uh, great, but yeah. Eugene Levy. All right, just before we, we, we go on to our next beer, because Don is salivating at the loophole that's sitting in front of us right now, okay? Loophole. Right, Eugene, all right? I, I, it's like I'm talking to you personally, right? <laughs> are you watching right now? But the way that you are a dad, and, you know, one of my criteria, you know, when we were talking about it originally was, you know, you want them to be your dad. For sure. Right? And if well, you that was, huge. Yeah. was my dad, yeah, I think I would have been raised properly. Sure. Um, well, and, you were uh, raised properly. I think I would have been. I, I was raised properly. <laughs> I, yeah, I know. I, I, I love my dad to death. Shout you know? out, Dominic, yeah, yes. Strangers. Right. You did you a know, fantastic job. You know, I, I got, I introduced <laughs> my dad to some stouts and, you know, I was happy about that. Oh, you he know, was over the moon today. Um, I brought him light bulbs. Oh, yeah, they changed the chandelier. Oh. They changed the chandelier. They put lights in. Yeah, no. you have to go over. So, okay, I'll, I'll backtrack. <laughs> Love my dad. I'm, I'm pretending, you know, yeah. just saying if if I, in another universe, in a parallel universe, yeah. if Eugene Levy was my dad, yeah. I'm in good shape. I'm oh, gonna, for I'm sure. Gonna turn out right. For sure. And, uh, yeah, for yeah, sure. It's a model. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's a great call on that. Uh, I can't think of anybody on the top of my head. I mean, I, I'm I sticking. Think we exhausted I, I'm, this I think list, we did. Eh? Listen, we did a good job. Absolutely. I mean, to throw that in there, that's some. I mean, I wasn't a fan of the show. I love Eugene. But Levy, you know, like him. I said, but yeah, I know, know of him. I, I followed him in, yeah. in, you know, with American Pie as well. You 
our show also, most of our shows were from the 80s and 90s. For right? sure. So, you know, I figured, you know what? Yeah. I, you know, I, okay, I dug, I wanted to bring something new to the yeah. table here, Doug. <laughs> I dug a little deep for this one. Yeah. And I thought he warranted, you know, especially over the Bob's Burgers guy. For sure. Oh, my. Yeah. <laughs> right? The list. The list you listen, on. we're in right? agreement Johnny here. Johnny Rose. The Come list, on. yeah, the list was right. out of whack. You know what? He deserves a spot in there, yeah. for sure. Bob's Burger, uh, Homer. <laughs> Homer. Cartoon. You could be your dad. I don't want to be. My no, dad. I know my dad. I love my dad. All right, I can't wait any longer, Don. All right, I'm so happy you pulled off this beer. This was another beer. This that was, was ex you know what? To get, I right? was really, really hoping that this worked out. And and uh, shout out to Italy and India, India Pale uh, Ale House. I ordered it online. I it was, was the visiting, Lupo, right? Yeah, we got the, we got I, the, the Lupo, Lupo Italian, Italian Pale Ale. Ale. A Viroteca Italy slash India Pale Ale. Correct. Uh, Ale House, sorry. And it's a 6.5%. Yeah, I had to order it online. And That's it, okay. I was visiting my folks on a Monday. I guess you're telling the folks out there that we they can get it. Just order it. Absolutely, online. yeah. Right. Yep. And you know what? We, well, there's a little... Go get it. There's a little... Order line. <laughs> no, no, right? There's, there's no. There's a little excuses. glitch. There's a little. Oh, glitch. sorry. There what? Okay. There's a little glitch. Backtrack. If you are glitch. ordering, if you are ordering online, you need to attach a food item to this, okay? <laughs> and uh, they were very great, though. They responded to me. I emailed okay. back and forth. Right. They're like, I can ship a chocolate to you. <laughs> Okay, ship the chocolate. Yeah, I want okay. the beer at my house yeah, so I can take it home Monday. Right. I need it home. And the chocolate never came. I'm calling them out on it. Now they want money. I don't know what's going on. We're going to figure <laughs> this out. We're figuring this right, out. Let's not tarnish the beer because it was incredible. <laughs> yes. It warranted being in our top three for sure. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I, I, I've been, I, I'm so happy that we're going to drink this in a couple of minutes here. Um, I will say this again. We did not know what an Italian pale ale is. Yeah, I never... <laughs> Prior to having this, I never even knew Italian pale ale even existed. I brought it up a little bit, you know, a few minutes ago. Sure. And I, I, right? I, yeah. What is it? Right. <laughs> and then we tried it. Yeah. And we were like, yeah, yeah. that's it. That's what it is. Yeah, so, for sure. I want to grab it. I want to crack it. Okay. I want to drink it. Let's go. Let's do this. I love the cracking. The can, there's a lot of hops on here. You can see the can has hops on it. If you can see the back. Hops all over Six and a half percent. I forgot how golden. We're feeling good right now. I forgot how golden color this one was. Oh, yeah. Okay. This was a... Oh, I let the glass get a little bit oh, warm. We talked too much. We, we, were also so, we were also supposed to bring up uh, something and do research on. We, we didn't. So What's that? Maybe for the closing. What's that? I don't know. We'll go back. Okay. And, uh, all right. We got time. I you can do whatever we want. We were going to correct something. but Oh. Uh, oh. Do you remember what it was? Uh, nope. <laughs> Uh, this is Bruce and Bros. Is that, can you tell it's the season finale? We're just having some beers. We're crushing some beers. We're know. having some fun. You know, I got a, I, a, a, a lupo. This right? has got a tinge of like in yellow. In my in, hand right now. This a, a yellow, little yellowish to the head here. Yeah. We never smelled the last one, but like first. <laughs> what do you mean? We did, <laughs> did we, we smell Fiegel? Sure we did. Okay, I don't, I don't remember. It's so citrusy. Oh, I like this. It's so citrusy. Yeah, Italian pale ale. So juicy. <laughs> It, Italiano. I think right. we should have Toto Cotunio to sing a song here for us. I got no. I got a talking point. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, yeah, I okay. Got, people are going to notice next season. <laughs> okay. They're killing some songs for me, Don. Oh. Some okay. Of these songs. That's a good. Like it, right. All I right. I can't hear it anymore. That's a good. You know, Somebody who's like one tenth Italian, and then yeah. they're, they're making pasta, and they're 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 killing my songs. No. No. Right. So we're, no. I'm gonna no. pause. Absolutely. Because not. that's definitely a talking point for no. second. Yeah. Okay. Let's try it. this loophole, Don. Come on. Did you smell it? You love it. I smell it. Cheers. It's fantastic. Let's go. <laughs> You know what it is about this beer, Don? You can destroy, preach, Bruiser. Preach. You can destroy this beer, right? It's it's it's, it's another category. I am you I am so crushable and then destroy. Yeah. Right? You can. <laughs> oh, that's that right? That, yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. You don't think so? No, no, no. I'm saying this is gonna be coined another in season three. Destroyed. It's destroyed. gonna be another concept to our holy grail. I'm sorry. I think it's more about. When you want to this, when you can destroy a beer, it's like I'm gonna gulp this in four gulps. Right? <laughs> you know, it's not crushable. Is I'm gonna have a bunch of them. It's almost like it's water. Like you know, a glass of water when you're yes. thirsty and parched. But you the just, flavor, you, Don. Yeah, the flavor that that just comes out with from the second it touches your lips, and then it goes down your throat, and then ooh, how pleasant is that after bite? Right. It's, it's so it's it's you know what I mean. It, it's, it's so good. There's, if they there's invented some... this Italian pale ale, I need all the breweries out there to, to find out what this is because it's the perfect blend. It has some hops. 
Right? Uh, Citru- uh, look, listen. <laughs> Citrus hops, okay. full bodied, and I agree, a little bitter. There's a little tiny, tiny taste of bitterness. We in found there. out on the last couple episodes that Don <laughs> is, is a big fan of bitter. I like it. And I have to say that I think that might lead us into for season three, maybe trying some, there's bitter beers. Sure. Possibly some um, sour beers so yeah. on the uh, bitter side. I am, you know right. what, I am, I I don't know if I've really like delved into yeah. that, that, that category. You know uh, what? I may and have tried one, it's not really yeah. rememberable. And if you but, don't like them, you don't like them and that's no, okay. But and I, that's am, a, I am certainly up for that, absolutely. An honest opinion to these beers. For sure. I'm gonna go back to one of the first, I used to have a warning <laughs> that came at the beginning of our episodes. Right. And I felt like I had to tell the people that are watching and listening that, you know, we're not experts. Sure. We have an idea of the type of beer that we like. Yeah. You know, uh, we're going to try them and we're going to tell you if we like them and, you know, describe them. And, uh, you know, what the Don is basically saying right there is, you know, we're willing to try everything and anything. Um, you know, we're going based on what's in this area. We're going based on, you know, what we can get a hold of. For sure. Um, but we are absolutely willing to try everything and anything. And we're really happy that, uh, you know, we tried a wide range of beers again this season. Absolutely. Um, Fantastic. I, these, I, these are our can top I three. Can uh, one tiny little caveat here? <laughs> okay, yeah, go ahead. Because you know how big of a fan I am of Stouts and Porters. <laughs> okay. This is now season number two is done. And not a Porter or yeah. a Stout has made our top three. You're right. Three seasons in a row. You're right about that. So just, just I wanted to bring that. That's huge. Uh, as an That's huge for you. That, as that, as that side, is so. huge for yeah, you. Yeah, it yeah, is. yeah, it yeah, is. yeah. Uh, I'm gonna take one more swig. I we're not ranking again, but uh, you know, no. it's just it's a good beer. I so took already one. Yeah, you're done. You're good. I don't, I don't know. know. What else I'm... Do I <laughs> take another one. It's freaking awesome. But <laughs> it's a freaking awesome Italian pale ale. Lupo, you crushed it. I wanted to end off with this beer. I was so happy that originally we tried it was fantastic. Trying it a second time, it might be even more fantastic, okay? A perfect blend of hops, perfect blend of citrus, perfect blend a little bit of uh, juiciness. And bitter. It, it's and there. And a little bitter, too. I don't, I don't know. And if a little you, can you taste it? Yes. Yes. It's yeah. so good. It's so it good. It all the bases. Yeah. Right? It's very rare when you have a beer that's, it transcends, right? Yeah. If you like hops, it has enough in there. If you like a little bit of just the you know uh, of a pilsner, sure, right? or pale ale, a, yeah, a pale ale. Yeah, it has a. If you like a little bit of a bitter style beer, it has that too. So wow, it's a fantastic it's, job. It's a different category. It's 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 in a whole different a realm and world, man. Uh, fantastic. I'm gonna swig as we uh, sign out here, um, <laughs> but uh, this is huge coming. Okay, so we're gonna deliberate. Yes. So okay. we should mention <laughs> a little bit different than normal. Usually we just have our closing comments, but this is actually. A big deliberation that's going to go on now in the break. We're going to decide on who is going to get the gold of the three beers that we tried. So we're going to get the gold, the silver, and the bronze. Yep. No, All right. No. Before we sign off here, yeah. uh, do you have an idea? I do. Like all three are locked all, in? Think? All three are wow. locked all in. All three rock. locked in? Locked in. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, now you're making me question, but I got to lock it. <laughs> Let's go. Find out. Okay. Gold, silver, and bronze for B and B. One, two, number two. Three. One, two, three. And we come back. Yeah. Oh, no. You special. guys know that sound. Special alert. Special alert. It's on me this time. Yep. Oh, boy. This I... is not a test. Oh, this talking. is your emergency I broadcast. I forgot you have that little part there. <laughs> <laughs> I have in my hands. I, I teed it up. The Don has been asking for Jean-Claude Van Damme. Trivia. Woo! All season long. Fuck. I think I don't know how many times I asked for it. Many times. You said all season long. It has been. All <laughs> season long. Yeah. One question done for all the marbles. This is scary. It's a multiple choice. Okay. One question. One question only. Okay. The Don did not know at all I was going to have a trivia question for him. On it, my heart. Didn't do any research. On my, on my, on my heart. Mind. Blind. Blind. I did not know what was happening. This is a pleasant surprise. At the same time, I'm a huge Van Damme fan. <laughs> and if I get this wrong, I'm going to be very disappointed. 
and then we'll give you our top three. Okay. Go on some rounds. Woohoo! Okay. Dun, 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 dun. What is Jean Claude Van Damme's real last name? Oh my god. A. Vonnegut. <laughs> B. Van Varenberg. C. Vadan. D. Vander Beek. Should I repeat it? I'll repeat we should repeat it. it. Repeat. Okay, so hang on a second. I'm trying to do process of elimination. Surname. Okay. We're going for the actual surname. surname. I get it. He's okay. from Belgium. Oh. Okay, I know Ooh. that for a fact. Okay. I'm I was going to ask that question, yes. and I'm like, that's too easy for the dog. He don. is from Belgium. Oh, okay. Okay. So we're going uh, so, for the so, so please slowly okay slowly one more repeat time the a b c d because i want to i want to see if i can get this All okay right. because uh, i'm gonna <laughs> quite honestly i gotta tell you i did watch a documentary on him recently uh no a while back <laughs> okay it, it's actually a, it was a reality show with him and Ooh, his family okay. anyways All right. uh i don't know if they mentioned that okay. he was his real name so, but i want to see if i can just pinpoint it because i know he's from belgium All right. and they speak french in belgium okay so i want to see so the question again was what is Van Dam's birth surname. So okay. his real surname. Okay. A was Vonnegut. B was Van Vanderberg. C was Vagon. And D was Vanderbeek. I am going to go with C, Bruiser. Vagon? Yes. What happened to our stickers here? <laughs> Is it good or bad? Ah! Oh, it's bad! Okay. The answer is Van Vanderberg. Van Vanderberg. Okay. Yeah. Really? Van Vanderberg. A little disappointed, Don. <laughs> I, I, maybe I got him wrong. Is he not born in Belgium? Yeah. Van Vanderberg. Yeah, that's what it is. I guess so. Yeah. Okay. Well, right. whatever. You're gonna question me on that one too. Okay. I am. <laughs> I know the Don's gonna go home and he's gonna go jump on his laptop right away and he's gonna check. No. Van Vanderberg, come on. Well, I didn't do the last time. I'm not gonna do it again. All so. right. All right. Anyways, we're here. We're here. Listen, we're here. You know what? We're here. We're sponsored okay. by Fuel Digital Designs, and we got the Niagara Craft Brewery Tours. What's promo, promo code? code? Yes, guys. Honestly, B R E W S N B R O S. Twenty percent off any tour of your liking. I'm excited about this right now. You can see in front of you that we have the winners and losers. <laughs> no losers. <laughs> no losers. If sorry. If you made the top three, you yeah. honestly blew us away. And I I'm can, just joking. I can honestly say that um, with these three beers, I want. I, I wish they were stocked in my beer fridge every day, three hundred and sixty-five days a year. That's important, man. Like you know, this is huge. I want right? them. Like, th this is I huge. Want them. This is huge. Give me this. If yeah. I come to your home, give me one of these beers, and I am happy. But and honestly, what's is, what's astounding here is that you know there's the the Indian Pale Ale, yeah. But then you know the two huge ones, Italian Pale Ale, yeah. The Italian Pilsner, yeah. something that you normally don't gravitate towards. I guess but not. the flavors and everything, especially me. Uh, it's, I'm, I'm just talking about yeah, like what especially what you. And I yeah. know your flavor notes. I know what you like. Mm -hmm. You know, you know what I like. So let's and do this. this is, I mean, again, boom. Let's do this, Don. And I will say this: intense deliberation. It was. It was. You. You. You actually put it into perspective. Well, Absolutely. Because well, not perspective, wanted, but no. You're right. We pulled we, it we, back to the holy grail. You're right. Right. Yes. Which one hit the notes? Yeah. Which one is flavorful? Which one was aromatic? Which one was crushable? And there was one that and you only did it. hit all three of them. All and right. You did it. You so, did it. Oh, we're ready for the bronze number three. Number three, beer number, number three. three. Shout it out loud. We got the Fiegel. Woo! By Henderson's. Oh my God! What a beer! Fantastic. I'm gonna call it the. It, it is. It is the best um, pilsner I've had. Hundred percent. In in forever. Hundred so percent. Going back. Five and it's years. not like again. It's not something that you gravitate towards. But uh, this is fantastic. Check it out. Buy Even it. for me too. Like pilsners is not something that I I I go. After but as you're well, to, you know, you're going for something else, but for sure, it's had so much flavor, it was so fantastic. Oh, great job! Great job. Number two, number two, yep. Pale ale hit a lot of flavor notes, had the aroma in pieces. Woo. India Pale Ale by Counterpart. Counterpart, silver medal. You deserve it. That's it. Well, congratulations, our local, our fantastic. local boys here in Niagara Falls. Yeah, fantastic job. Go check fantastic it out. Job. Eat the and chicken sandwich, best chicken sandwich. Chicken around. sandwich, and that Peter, was, Peter. Peter, thank right you for coming Silver through. Silver medal. Huge. Silver medal right there. Huge for us. Right? Silver medal. But 
Number one. And we're number one, right? We went leaps and bounds I, to get this brew. I went leaps and bounds to get this. If all we had fell, a feeling. It right? all fell through. I had a feeling. <laughs> I got a, oh, my wedding song. <laughs> I got a feeling <laughs> that tonight's <laughs> going to be a good night. That tonight's going to be a good night. We had the gold medal winner. <laughs> Woo! Number one. Gold medal, medal winner, the Loop Bowl, Italian Pale Ale, Vinoteca, uh, Vinoteca Italy, slash India <laughs> Ale House. Fantastic job. Deserving. Uh, deserving. It's deserving. Very deserving. I'm deserving. We're still drinking it. We had a pause in there, but you know this is it, guys. Come on. Go to Vinoteca Italy. Ale House. Right. All my non-Italian friends, I'm going to speak to you for a second. <laughs> you will be blown away. If you go to Italy in general, right? Go get yourself some, some you know, freshly baked gnocchi, right? Oh. Go and get yourself a wood oven margarita pizza, right? Make your way down to Biroteca, right? Have yourself. Yeah, you were there. Fantastic you were there. I want to. I want to visit this. How and then that? pick yourself up a, a bunch. Of, their, their beers are great. How are but the loop how are right we here. how are we not going there together? I gotta go well, there with you. Honestly, we got a little hiatus a right trick. down. Yeah. This is our finale. Yes, so let's go. I want to go. We're gonna do a bunch of things, and uh, you know when we come back, it's gonna be bigger and better. Yeah, absolutely. Ever. I'm so excited for the. I'm future excited of too. This. Yeah, this was fantastic. I want to say this, Don, because this is you know and and. I'm, I'm finally feeling it. You know? yeah. I, I, I've been excited yeah. <laughs> up until right this second because now I'm feeling kind of the sadness. Right? Yeah. You know, because... Well, it was mixed emotions all day for me because I, I knew Friday nights, we've been consistent. Yeah. You know, it's we're, mixed we're, emotions that I know that season two is coming to an end, but we have a little hiatus, but season three is coming back full throttle. We have a lot of ideas that we want to go through and I can't wait, man. I can't wait. has been brought to you every Sunday since. <laughs> <laughs> Right? A long time. Since a long time. You know what though? Every Sunday, crazy though? We like haven't, clockwork. Right? We haven't we haven't hit a year yet. We have we're, not we're, hit a year you know, in we're the production. A year, we so are. Let's let them know. Yep. We are going to, you know, season three drop in Christmas morning. Yes. So like season one did. Like season one. Yep. We brought you season one was all about the podcast. Season two, we brought you the video. Season three, we got some Big, big news that's coming up. Huge. We're going to keep that under wraps for now, but you're going to have to tune in because, you know, B&B keeps on growing. Audience keeps on growing. Sponsorship for sure. keeps on growing. And we're having a blast. And I'm telling you right now, people are excited. I talk, you know, my, my friends, they love it. It's Your friends love yeah. it. Like, this is good. Listen, a lot of people have not had a podcast like this where they can relate to. Okay. There's a lot. I, let's do a lot of podcasts. Okay. It's the same redundant thing over and over again. Okay? <laughs> People are just doing podcasts all the time. Forget about all the other podcasts. Forget this about the just, that's it. Listen, you're drinking I, beer. You're talking about old school. We we got it. We got it all. That's it. You ready to sign off? Yes. Right way. For, for season two, I'm ready. Yes. All right. This is the last time we're saying this for a little while. You're done. All right. Let's take a breath. Okay. I've also while. Two weeks. Three weeks. Four weeks. Three yes, weeks. Four right. weeks. Okay. <laughs> two brothers. Three beers. We're, we're out. out.